Hello, my name is Jason Nash. I'm the Data Center Principal with Vero, and I just thought I'd do a quick demonstration here of the new snapshot feature in Synology's DSM 4.2 beta. So this is something uh, that I'm pretty happy about because I use these in my lab, my, my VMware lab, and being able to do snapshots on iSCSI lines is a pretty nice feature and something that is normally on larger, more expensive kind of toward that enterprise feature set and I just thought it was nice that Synology is bringing even more of those cool enterprise features down to the smaller arrays. So let's let's take a look at that. First thing I'm going to do is log into uh, my array here called Unicron. Unicron is a DS3611XS. He's a he's a really nice system. i uh, been very pleased with it here again in the VMware lab, running both flash and spinning disks in this guy along with 10 gig connectivity. So really nothing to complain about. So once we're logged in, a couple of things. Uh, everything that you need to do is done through the volume manager. So we go up here, storage manager, and we'll create an iSCSI line. Now I want to show you this because of a couple of things. First of all, let's wait for it, and it'll say there are none, so I'll create one. And you can, you know, if you haven't seen this before, with the Synology arrays, you've got a couple of options. You can basically put an iSCSI LUN as a what would say is a file or a binary blob as we call it on top of the normal NAS file system. You can do it at a block level. Let's say you don't use your entire uh, storage uh, or you know storage capacity for the NAS. You can dedicate some of that as a basic block level or you can even do it here as multiple LUNs on a RAID group. Uh, I use all mine for my NAS uh, capacity for file system, so I'm going to do it as a regular file. That's another nice thing is that these features are available on both type block and regular file iSCSI LUN. I was afraid when I first heard about these features you would have to do block level, but that's not the case. So we'll click next. Standard standard uh, configuration if you've seen the properties for an iSCSI on a Sino Synology, but first we give it a name. I'll just call it Demo LUN where you want to put it, uh, not volume one, that's my EFDs, I'll put it on two. Do you want thin provisioning? I say yes, you don't have to. And here's the other thing I want to show you. So to do things like snapshots, as well as the clone function I'll show you, as well as VAAI, which is known as the uh, array offload or array acceleration for VMware, you have to enable these features. So downside is if you upgrade these from an older version, uh, these features weren't enabled at LUN creation, so you can't use them, but you will have to create new LUNs, but once you do, you get all these cool little stuff, so we'll say yes. Capacity, I don't know, 500 gig. And do you want to use an existing iSCSI target? I've already got one, so I'll just use two existing. Say next, and here's my iSCSI target. So again, your iSCSI target is like your iSCSI, you call it a server. It's, you know, the configuration, the IP, the access control, things like that. So if you didn't have one, you could go ahead and create one within the wizard. I've already got one. So we'll say next. It says this is what you want to do. And I'll say yes and apply. So once it's created, I'll show you how to manage the snapshots. Uh, pretty simple. This screen has changed a little bit, mainly because we now have a snapshot setting. So again, we can go to snapshot here, and you have two options. Take a snapshot or a manager. Manager doesn't do a whole lot until we have a snapshot. So let's go ahead. Let's say I've written some files, some data to this line, and now I want to create a snapshot. And if you're not familiar with snapshots, snapshots, snapshots are what we call a point in time reference for data. So I will write some, you know, information to this line. Then I will take a snapshot, and this snapshot will hold that information as it, as it was right now. And I'll continue writing data to the uh, of the LUN that we just created. But if I ever want to roll back to where we are right now, I can roll back to this snapshot. So it's very good for kind of holding changes. I do this a lot in my lab. Uh, when I want to make a change and I'm not sure about it, I might do a snapshot from within VMware. But it's also usually very powerful to be able to do them on the array. So that's what I'm going to do right here. Again, if I blow up my lab, I can always go back to this snapshot as it was right now. Say OK. And it'll create the snap. And again, you can create multiple snapshots. So I can come in and do, you know, a second snap. So maybe I'm doing some patching. You know, the first one was I got my servers deployed in a kind of a pristine state in my lab. So I usually take a snapshot when I do that. 
you know, kind of a pristine set. Then maybe once I get some apps installed or patches and I want to, you know, take a snap before I apply a patch or something, I can then uh, go ahead and take another one. But you can do multiple snapshots here. That's not a problem. And we'll let it finish. Now, one thing that you can do on kind of bigger arrays, I do a lot with EMC arrays, is we can promote what we call snapshot to read write status, meaning I can mount it from another system. So for an example, I may have this demo LUN here as a data store for my VMware servers in my lab. I may want to mount snapshot 2 as a different data store. There's no way to really do that directly. We can come into snapshot manager and we can do things like clone, remove, restore, which basically means roll back, edit, and edit is just the name or description. But we can't say, hey, I want you to turn this into a LUN, but here's what you do. You clone it. So if you hit clone, he's going to say, hey, look, here's all the stuff you saw a minute ago when we created a LUN, so what do you want to call it? So I'll call it cloned demo LUN. You don't get to pick anything else like you can't change it to a different volume that would kind of be nice uh, it's still thin provision still advanced features but what you can do is you can remap it to another target I've only got one or whatever but you can go ahead and select that and hit OK then it is going to create a different LUN so it's going to clone that snapshot that point in time reference into a new LUN so even if we've made a ton of changes or I've blown up files or somebody's done something bad to the original demo LUN we still have this snap. I can clone it. We now have this one. I can then connect to it from, say, my VMware servers and pull data off of it. So again, very quick retrieval. The gotcha here is that this is something you'll hear a lot of storage people, you know, hi, you know, harp on over and over, is that these are not backups. So I don't want you to think that I, you've got a second copy of your data. If I were to lose, you know, I'm doing RAID 5 on that volume. If I were to lose two disks on the Synology at the same time and lose my data you know I don't have another set of data uh, off the array by doing a snap so snaps are for quick recovery if you make a mistake they're not backup and I also don't recommend you leave them around for a long time because if you think about it every time you make a change to this demo line it's different than this snapshot we call it a delta set that delta grows and grows and grows and grows and grows so you'll start chewing up more space and it can impact performance I'll be honest, I don't know exactly the underlying structure that Synology uses here with DSM for their snaps, but in many cases, larger snaps start to degrade performance. So again, I don't like to keep snaps longer than maybe a week or two weeks, something like that. If you're doing even more changes, more writes to the original LUN, you may want to do less than that. But it's a great feature. Uh, I, I'm real pleased with it between this the VAI support, I mean these are turning into really fantastic NAS boxes for small offices, even medium size, and especially here in my lab. And that's about it. I mean the only other thing you would need to do is come over here. If you create a new iSCSI target, you're going to want to make sure and give your systems access to it. I don't need to do that because I've already got my initiators here and we can see here that it added both mapped iSCSI LUNs. So that's it for the demo, uh, you know, continuing to see great stuff out of Synology and uh, looking forward to even more releases.